Hi, I'm Stephen Hua. In this video, I want to demonstrate to you how top soccer player utilize the internal discipline in classical Taiji in their kicking game. First, I want to explain to you the relevant part of Tai Chi to the kicking game, which is what we call lower quarter body movements. And then I will show you detailed analysis of video footage from World Cup 2018 to illustrate this point. So now, first let's take a look what is low quarter body movements in Tai Chi. We have exercise to train one to use the internal core to move the leg. For example, it's like this. You want to swing the leg with the abdominal and the back muscle. Swing, lift the pelvis and work on the swing. And you can see that the swing movement goes way up into here. Almost like the leg extend into the body. It's not like you're just turning at the hip joint. The leg goes way up. One of our kicking exercise is exactly what you will see the soccer player will do. The power comes from crunch the abdomen muscle. Pay special attention to his body. When he swings his leg, the other part of the body is stationary, completely still, no movement. Any movement or flex in the stationary part of the body will diminish the power of the swing. To achieve this yin and yang pair in the body during movement, yin is the stationary part of the body, yang is the moving part of the body, is a major task in classical Taijist training. When you watch the game video which I'm going to show you, you will notice that this top soccer player knows how to utilize this yin and yang concept in their kicking routine. Kicking power come from two parts. The first part is external. The second part is internal. The first part is when he bend his leg at the knee and swing his lower leg forward. That is the external part which build up the momentum in the foot. Once he is near the ball, his leg is straight. He has to use the internal power to lift the ball up and provide the most of the power to drive the ball toward the goal. The internal power comes from the core abdominal muscle. By crunching the abdominal muscle generates the power. The straight leg is almost like a hockey stick. It delivers the core power to the ball. In all these examples, pay special attention to the contrast in the kicker's body. While one side the leg is kicking the ball with explosive force, the other side of the body he will try to stabilize, solidify into a stable situation as much as possible. So you will see a very contrast situation in the body, stable and dynamic. In our Tai Chi training, this is very important. Train people how to achieve this, what we call the yin and yang of the body, moving and non-moving part of the body. To achieve this in a split second situation is most difficult. And this is what separates a top 
play from just a good play.